Last summer, we got the chance to go on an epic road trip to Sky, and we had some friends join us. Driving through the highlands was by far the prettiest road trip I have ever taken. We drove along the Lock Rivers with high hopes to see Nessie. We stopped here for the bathroom. Abby had to go. You gotta go, you gotta go. And over there is a waterfall that you probably can't see because I'm using the GoPro and there's no zoom feature. As soon as we crossed the bridge, the Isle of Skye welcomed us with moody skies and amazing scenery. Something about this island felt mystical and it's no wonder it is known as the Land of Fairies. Skye is known for its unique landscapes, legends, and myths, which I have a few to tell you in this vlog. The name Isle of Skye originates from Norse meaning Cloud Island. We stayed at an Airbnb for three nights in Portree, which is the capital of Isle of Skye, and the largest town on the island. I recommend you book in advance because there aren't many options to stay in Skye and expect your stay to be pricey. Day one was filled with many adventures. The first stop was Dunvegan Castle. Good morning from Sky. We made it to um, Dunvegan Castle. So we're gonna check that out today. <laughs> this castle dates back from 1266 and is the oldest occupied castle in Scotland. Dunvegan Castle has been a part of the Clan MacLeod for over 30 generations. In this castle lies a fairy flag that is the most precious possession of the MacLeods. Experts say the flag was made before the Crusades in the 4th or 7th century. The story behind the flag is a romantic one that is very popular within the Highlands, and it goes like this. The chief of the MacLeod was in love with the fairy princess, but her father disproved of their relationship. So she begged and begged for her father to let her marry the man of her dreams until finally she convinced him to let her marry him, but he only allowed her to stay for one year and one day. And then she would have to leave him behind and return to the fairy world. They were so happy during that one year and even had a son. When it was time to go, she left the son behind and made her husband promise he would keep him from crying so she doesn't hear him and feel the need to come back. But the young chief was devastated, so the other clans folks decided to throw him a grand party at the Dunvegan Castle to get his mind off his love. They assigned a nursemaid to babysit the son through the night so they could enjoy the party, but unfortunately, she couldn't get the baby to keep quiet. The son cried loud enough for his fairy mother to hear, and suddenly she appeared to soothe him. She sang him a song and wrapped him in the fairy shawl. The nursemaid came back and heard the fairy voice, but couldn't see her, so she quickly grabbed the son and took him to his father. Years later, the chief would find out that the shawl left behind was magical and could be waved only three times if they were ever in danger, and the fairy legions would come to their aid. Till this day, the flag has been used twice. Once when the McClouds were outnumbered by their enemies, and then another time when they were hit with the plague and dying of starvation. Both times, the flag worked in their favor. They believe this flag is magical, and even soldiers carried a picture of the flag in their wallets during World War II. So what do you think? Do you believe in fairies? I want to believe that I actually caught one on camera.
We had a great tour and the kids enjoyed looking for ancient keys through the castle. I found a dear one. Found two keys. Yeah, you can. Okay, so that's two keys. Give it a key for this. Mm. Oh, look at that bed. I did some long exposure shots of the waterfall. Hopefully they come out all right. This place is absolutely breathtaking. Pretty sure Sasquatch is around the corner. Is he Scottish? Heading out to go get some food. We're stopping at the Misty's for some lunch. Ooh, it's at 39. We made a quick stop at the ferry bridge and this is basically it. Looks cool though. We made it to the Fairy Glen. We were gonna go to Nest Point, but it was way too foggy, so we had to turn around. <sighs> I'm on the top! This is Fairy Glen. I felt like I had entered into an enchanted world. The start of a journey where we would find the fairies of Skye. Unlike the fairy story I told you about in Dunvegan Castle, there is no known legend of fairies living in this area. But it's hard not to believe that fairies created this fascinating cone-shaped hills containing ponds and scattered waterfalls throughout the land. These spiraling rocks caught my eye and I remember reading about a ritual that visitors perform which involves leaving a coin as an offer to the fairies for good luck. I did further research and found out that locals do not appreciate these rocks being there and they are constantly removing them. These were already there before we got here and the kids were very curious.
made it. Oh, we yeah, we made it to the top, and now we got to see. Now there's waterfalls over there. Not too far up. That stop right there. doing so do you like it magical time in Fairy Glen, we drove to see Craig on Feli or Pillars of the Kilt Rock. The sea cliff stands 180 feet tall and resembles a Scottish kilt. You can also spot the milled waterfall fed by the Loch Milled Lake. An interesting fact that I read is that dinosaur remains were found along this coast. And another awesome fact is that you can sometimes spot whales in the open sea from this cliff. Careful with the sheep. It's got its baby. She's got her baby. Good morning from the sky. This is day three and although the weather has been really beautiful and moody, um, it's also kind of like ruining our little um, hiking trips. We stopped at the ferry poles and it's been drizzling and raining a lot. So there's like this um, passageway that we need to cross in order to get to the, um, the rest of the waterfalls. Well, because it's been raining a lot, it's like flooded and the guy at the entr entrance was telling us that we basically have to like swim across that little area. But since we have kids, we won't be doing that. Hi. There's also these little annoying flying bugs. I think they're called midges. Oh, there's bugs everywhere, ew! And they're eating us alive. And they're so annoying. They they're literally like eating us up so that's another reason why we're not gonna do this little hike um but anyways right now eric is flying his drone over the waterfalls so let's just cut to the drone footage <laughs> You have to step right here. There you go. At least it washed off the dirt on my shoes. The old Sagaham Bridge was built around 1815 by Thomas Telford. It now lies next to the new Slegahan Bridge built for vehicles and bikes to ride on. Now, I have a final tale to tell you all, and this time it's about the enchanted waters of Slegahan. 
A long time ago, a female warrior named Skaha lived in Skye. Cuculain, a warrior from Ireland, decided to come down and fight Skaha to prove he was stronger. The battle lasted for weeks and Skaha's daughter began to get very worried for her mother, so she ran down to the Slagahan River and cried. Little did she know that the river was a portal between the human world and the fairy world. The fairies heard her beg for the fight to end, so they told her to place her face into the water for seven seconds and her wish would come true. She was so happy, she went home to prepare a delicious meal that would eventually end the fight because she invited them both to sit and eat as they made peace with each other. So legend has it that her tears that fell into the river will grant anyone who sticks their face in the water for seven seconds with eternal beauty. Yeah, we need to pack more socks. <laughs> oh man. Go ahead. And you two shall pass. Come forward. Thanks, Come. sir. The door is open. Oh my gosh. I'm sure. Our sky experience has been everything I had imagined. The moody skies and volcanic landscapes fed us with adventure. The misty rain made us feel alive and although we didn't get to see everything sky had to offer, we left very satisfied. Holding something. No. You don't want to see? 